It is way too hot outside to be flying a drone today. So all videos are taking place inside. You can see the temperatures right next to me. We're looking at like five, six days of like 100 degrees. But anyway, um, yeah, a lot of people have questions about what what's the best device for flying your drone. Um, there's a couple of devices out there that I definitely would recommend. I started out just flying my drone with the phone I had. Uh, at that time, it was the Galaxy Note 9. That's still the phone I have. And um, I liked it. Um, you know, the Galaxy Note 9 has a nice, what is it, like a six inch screen or something like that. I can't even remember, but uh, it, it's pretty good for easy connection. Uh, your drone, the Mavic 2 Zoom came with a USB type C or a uh, USB uh, or a lightning jack for your iPhone. So um, they clearly made sure that you had both in order to make sure you got the job done. So I thought that was really cool. Um, but the only thing I would say about the cords that came with the drone, um, and I'll, I'll show you this actually. Uh, give, me, give me a second, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I had bought this like harness or phone holder that allows you to put your phone in here like this, holds it. And I thought that was pretty cool, but the only thing is the lightning jack cord that came with my iPhone or what came with my drone, it doesn't fit. Meaning that the part that goes from here and that would then plug into, let me turn it around, even if I turned it around, it would plug into here to where the, the iPad was. It was too short. So I ended up having to buy a new lightning jack cord. So that leads me to the next part. Yes, I've also used an iPad mini, which um, I, I, I found that to be quite enjoyable too. So the question is, what's my favorite? Which one is my favorite? Um, I would have to say of the two, real estate wins every time. The iPad mini is about an eight inch screen. And when I'm flying my drone, I wanna see as much as I can of what the drone sees. That for me was the ultimate experience of flying a drone. There's other screens you can buy, LCD screens that also connect to your drone that you can use. Um, I, I would probably though suggest using something that's not your cell phone is the best thing to use. Something that's not your cell phone. And the reason why is because yeah, you can put your phone in airplane mode, try to use only the GPS, but I've gotten text messages, phone calls, alerts, all types of stuff popping up on my screen while I fly. And quite honestly, it's pretty uh, distracting. So if you can use something else, I would. I personally didn't, the only reason I don't use the iPad all the time is I'm not an Apple person. I actually have uh, been Samsung for quite some time. I know many people would say, why don't you just go to Apple? Just not my thing. I love the Note series phones, so I stick with those. And then when you use the iPad, I don't find it as easy and simplistic to get the content off the iPad and onto a Windows or Android based system where I do most of my editing. So that's just my own personal reason why I you know, would not, you know, use the iPad all the time. Um, but definitely if you can get another screen, a bigger screen, an aided screen, I would use that. So that brings me to the next point. Just released today was the Samsung Galaxy Z3 Fold. And if you follow any of the phones that they have the flip, they got the fold and the fold basically kind of looks like a candy bar when it's folded in half. And when you unfold it, I believe it folds out to be about a 7.8 inch screen, something like that. Beautiful phone, MKBHD made a video on it. I'm sure you can find the Samsung uh, press release also on YouTube somewhere. Um, so yeah, I just the phone's beautiful. But for $1,800, would I go and purchase that phone mainly because it'll let me fly my drone. The answer to that for me is no. I personally wouldn't buy that phone for that reason, but 
when I do get ready to spend that, oh, I don't even like saying it, $1,800 on a cell phone. Hopefully it's not that expensive if I ever get it. But if you were ever to go out and like buy that phone, like that would be the ultimate experience to be able to have a phone that folds open, turns into a 7.8 inch screen, and then allows you to basically see all this real estate while you fly your drone. Again, that goes back to then using your phone though to fly your drone. So is it really worth it? I don't know. I think it's better just to have a separate device, but something that's compatible with the editing software that you plan to use. So also at the end of the day, what you use to fly your drone is your choice. Uh, you know, um, I do use my phone still because you know, most times if I'm just trying to get the drone in the air, it's the most convenient thing versus trying to look for another screen. So anyway, that's all I had for today. Uh, like you saw, it was too hot to fly. Hopefully get some practice time in. Um, again, if this brought you any value, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time. Later.